আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম টু মাই অনলাইন ক্লাস মাই ডিয়ার ক্যাডেটস অফ ক্লাস 11 ইউ নো ইট ভেরি ওয়েল দ্যাট উই আর পাসিং এ ভেরি টাফ সিচুয়েশন এন্ড টাইম দ্যাটস হোয়াই ইউ আর নট এবল টু স্টে অ্যাট ইওর কলেজ দ্যাটস হোয়াই দিস অনলাইন এফোর্ট দ্যাট হ্যাজ বিন টেকেন বাই দ্য অথরিটি অফ পোরশাল ক্যাডেট কলেজ নো মোর ডিলে উই ওয়ান্ট টু স্টার্ট মাই টুডেস ক্লাস before commencing my class i would like to introduce myself this is amrajan khan lecturer department of physics borishal cadet college this class for class 11 subject physics this is assigned as chapter 3 and name of my today's chapter is dynamics okay before starting my today's class let's have a enjoy this video relative motion of objects have you ever wondered as to why train coming from the opposite direction appears to be faster than a train moving in the same direction to answer the above question we have to understand relative motion of objects consider a passenger sitting at the window seat of a train as an observer case 1 when the train in which the observer is sitting is moving with a velocity v1 of 30 km per hour and an other train is coming towards the first train with a velocity v2 of 60 km per hour in this case from the frame of reference of the observer it appears that train coming towards him is moving faster at a speed of 30 plus 60 is equals to 90 kilometers per hour whereas from the frame of reference of a person standing on the station both the trains are moving with velocities of 30 kilometers per hour and 60 kilometers per hour hence in the case of train moving in opposite direction from the perspective of the observer sitting in one of the train it appears that approaching train coming from the other direction is moving faster with net velocity being the sum of v1 and v2 case 2 when both the trains are moving in the same direction with same speed of 60 kilometers per hour that is v1 is equals to v2 is equals to 60 kilometers per hour in this case from the frame of reference of observer it appears that the other train is stationary but from the frame of reference of a person on the station both the trains are moving at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour okay. <clears throat> after observing this video i think it is not clear to all of you what is going to be discussed today okay i will take some time to make you clear about this lecture so today's topics are reference frame absolute velocity relative velocity instantaneous velocity and instantaneous acceleration learning outcomes after the end of my today's discussion credits you will be able to explain the idea of inertial frame of reference you will be able to explain the absolute motion and relative motion key points are like this please have a look okay no more delay let's have a closer look towards my today's discussion about dynamics at first reference frame okay now i'm going to discuss about reference frame reference frame is the structure by using this structure any one will be able to determine the position of any object or motion of any object there are two types of reference frame okay 
inertial reference frame and non inertial reference frame the difference between inertial reference frame and non inertial reference frame is acceleration the reference frame which must have somewhat acceleration this reference frame should be called non inertial reference frame but the reference frame which must not have acceleration it is called inertial frame of reference so any frame of reference that moves at constant velocity was any frame of reference that moves at constant velocity that moves at constant velocity okay relative to an inertial frame is itself an inertial frame there is no acceleration and any frame of reference that does not move at constant velocity relative to any other frame and it is defined as non inertial reference frame types of non inertial reference frame and it is also the types of inertial reference frame so it is a one dimensional reference frame two dimensional reference frame and three dimensional reference frame the reference frame which are using three coordinate is called three dimensional reference frame and the reference frame which are using two coordinate that is x and y is called two dimensional reference frame and the one dimensional reference frame is for only one coordinate now motion and rest you know it very well that which condition is rest and which one is motion but it is my concern to discuss about absolute motion so there is no absolute motion in our work physics or according to the physics absolute motion should be called absolute rest of a body is not change of position with respect to a absolute at rest reference object बडी उन्स टू another body is equal to the vector difference of the two velocities okay let me clear it.
So looking from B, the velocity of car A will appear moving in the forward direction with velocity V A B. That is velocity of car A with respect to B. Again, it is seen from A. The boy will, the boy B will appear to be moving backward with the velocity V of B with respect to A. That is equal to minus V A B as direction of B A B is opposite to B B A. Here, motion in opposite directions. When two bodies move in the same directions along a straight line, yes, the motion of these two cars are not same here. Rather, they are moving along a straight line oppositely. Then the relative velocity of A with respect to B will be equal to the difference of the two velocities here. This bold V of AB is equal to vector VA minus vector B. Here the V B is taken as negative because the direction of these two cars are vice versa. So that becomes VA minus sorry VA plus VB. This is the difference V A B is equal to V A minus V B for same directions when the cars are moving along a straight line and V A B is equal to V A plus V B for motion in opposite direction of two cars. Okay, homework. A step is inserted here for your homework. So you should try your level best to solve this question. If you face any problem, please mock me. And before finishing my today's class, if you have any query, please ask me. I will be here for solving your questions. Okay, we are passing very cup and rough situation due to pandemic corona. So don't make any make any plan to go outside of your home. Spend quality time with your parents and your family. So no more today. Thank you.